Uh, the first time I heard of uh, Britain First was online. I saw everything that was going on about uh, all the Islamic State and um, all the scandals that were going on. And uh, I saw that we were tackling extremists. So I thought, yeah, good cause. This is a good noble cause. So my first demo was against Anjum Chowdhury at Regent Street Mosque. The government were just letting Chowdhury and Co spit the hate on the streets. No one was opposing them other than Britain First. But actually, then the day started coming in when they were asking for the donations. Oh, we need money for this, we need money for that. There's a fixed ideology to the group, and it's capitalism. They are using people's weaknesses to their own gains, to line their own pockets. It's more and more looking like a BNP re reboot. I'm sad to say, I wish it wasn't. I think Britain First come about because of government inaction. In the media, a Tari almost limbs and immigrants with the same brush. I think that the politicians and the media are making us all hate each other. The fact that they're selling papers in office, they're not putting policies through that we all want through because we're sitting here arguing about ourselves. This is why I'm about unity. If we all stand together and come together, the government ain't going to do nothing because we say, look, it ain't working what you're doing. You are trying to get us all to argue with each other instead of getting the jobs done because we all sit around saying we want a revolution. But we're all at each other's throats. I won't stand with him because he's black. I won't stand with him because he's Muslim. It don't work like that. If you want unity, you want a revolution, you all have to come together. I've never been a racist or anything like that. It's just my views have been manipulated. I've got mixed race relatives. So it's just my views have been manipulated. What I feel for the homeless has been manipulated. What I feel about mass immigration has been manipulated. The majority of Muslims are good people, They're just like you and I. They just want to get on, have peaceful lives. There are extremist minorities in every religion. That's why we call them the loud minority. So they're going around making noise. If the people want to get behind it and the people want to be unified, I will carry on and I will go visit places and just try and bring people together because at the end of the day it's about hope. That's why I want to give hope. We're, we're at um, a time similar to 10 years before World War Two, with all the propaganda and that's going about. Now we've got that experience past us now. What do we do? Do we learn from it or do we repeat the mistakes from the past?